hello and welcome back welcome back everyone in this video we're going to be taking a look at something that was like a, a question in the oxygen group a user wanted to know how to create something like this uh, so you have the see more so you have see more and when you click it it reveals another uh, text okay reveals text you know inside there so that's what we're going to do in oxygen so i'm going to show you how to do this using the oxygen tabs elements here it's going to be um well, I, I wanted to say zero code. Well, let's see. Probably zero code. All right. All right. So first thing we want to do is, um, oh, sorry, by the way, um, uh, my interface is a bit different. I'm using Recorder, the version that is currently under development. That is Recorder 2.0. Uh, just some of the features, not a full version. So if you haven't seen my video on Recorder Workspace version 2.0 sneak peek, uh, just uh, take a look at it. I'm going to link it at the top right corner. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add a section. So I'm going to add a section, then I'm going to add a div. That div is going to be 100%. And then I'm going to make it grid two uh, columns. And then I'm going to make this zero, zero, no gap, zero, no gap. All right. Okay. So uh, I'm going to add a div inside there. Now this will be, I'm just going to call this my grid container. And then this div is going to be uh, the switcher uh, container. All right. All right. So inside that switcher container, I'm going to add the tabs element. And in that tab, I need just two. Okay. So we have one, two, three. Okay. So I'm going to just delete this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete the third one here. Okay. So now we have the first one is going to be the one we for our Seymour. Okay, so you have this Seymour. This will be the first tab. And then I'm going to just write the tab Seymour. And then this will be the close. Okay, close. All right, so what is going to happen is this. When you click tab one, you're going to see the contents of the text. Okay, so this, uh, when you click tab one, you're going to see the content of the first tab so that means when you click tab one like this when you click here you're going to see this okay when you click the second tab you go back to this so the first tab is see more and when i click that okay let me just write there see more okay so when i click there i see content one so i'm going to populate that content one with text okay copy populate and then when I click the second tab, I'm going to see content two. Content two will not have any text. So that's going to be a close button. All right. So it's going to be a background image. I'm going to select the ID and go and add a background image. And that background is going to be cover uh, set to no repeat 50%, uh, 50%. Uh, now uh, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a close icon. I mean a close icon, yeah. So I'm gonna just add an icon there. And that icon is going to be, I want to use linear icons. I want to use cross, select that icon. And then I want to reduce that icon like so. I'm going to go ahead and delete the text there because we wouldn't need the text. And then I think I would like to reduce the padding here. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and I want to do that on the ID because the settings for both tabs is going to be different. So I'm just going to set one rem for all of them. All right. So that is, um, and then for this one, so what happens is that when I click here, I see the text. When I click here, I see the background. But the problem is a tab, you know, uh, doesn't fill in. We don't have a height. So I'm going to go to the content switcher and give it a minimum height of 500. And then for our tabs content, we want it to fill it, you know. Uh, but before we do that, we need these tabs to be positioned absolutely inside this content switcher. But what we actually need to be positioned absolutely is the tab, the individual tabs, because uh, they are going to be placed at different position. So I'm going to first of all go to the content switcher where you want to place a position absolutely relative to another container. That container has to be positioned relative. So I'm going to go to advanced layout. I'm going to position that relative. And then I'm going to go back here. Then I'm going to do this on the ID level because they are going to be on different positions. So for this first one, go to the ID. Go to pos uh, at layout and then I'm going to position an absolute. And then I'm going to put it at the bottom 12, at the right 12. We're going to move that to the center after, but let's just keep it here. And then for this one, which is the close, 
I'm gonna go to that that advanced layout absolute and then top is gonna be 12 then right is gonna be 12 so we position it absolutely relative to this container okay now you notice that the tab content is not filling up so to get that to fill up we're gonna go to uh, layout I'm gonna go to flex grow one that has filled up if you notice but the the individual tab contents haven't filled up so for that one I'm gonna select the class because I want to apply to both of them I'm gonna do the same thing flex grow one so now we have that uh, for our background image which is this tab now you can name it you know just can name this background and then you can name this uh, content okay it's just to remember so for our background I'm gonna go there and we already have the image that we had uh, and then I'm going to go to overlay and just put an overlay there. So I'm going to go back to select my button, my Seymour button and style it on the ID level because, I mean, if you um, are planning to use this on, like we're going to duplicate it. So if you're going to duplicate it, don't use any of the tab class here to style it. Add another class. So I'm going to add another class. Let me just call it a uh, switcher, switcher tab. Let me just say tab one. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to style that the color is going to be white and then I'm going to go to the border settings okay effect oh sorry not effect borders anyway I have a shortcut here from recorder workspace I'm just going to use it border white okay uh, one pixel all right that was fast and then let me just use this uh, sp spacing uh, I'm just going to give the top and the bottom I want to give it like uh, 16 okay that's top and bottom and then for this one I want to give it like uh, 32 okay and that is going to be left and right all right so 32 uh why not 64 okay let's select that or make it wider okay so uh that is a feature of recorder 2.0 so if you haven't seen that video just check it out I'm, i've linked it at the top right corner so for this one i've gone to click it i didn't want to click it all right for this one okay uh for that uh I'm gonna select that and make that uppercase maybe just add a little bit of a uh, letter spacing now to bring it to the center I'm gonna go back to that um, settings okay but the ID uh, this will be 50% and these will be 50% uh, but then it's not exactly 50% to get it to center we need to offset it by using the translate Y and X property so I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to effect transform add transform and then it's gonna be translate uh, for the X we're gonna translate it um, negative 50 and then for the Y we're gonna translate it 50 percent both of them oh uh, that doesn't look right for the X okay it's supposed to be percent all right and this is percent so it takes that to the center all right that's that's good um, So let's see what we have so far if i click this it takes me here uh, so this we need more padding here now like i mentioned uh don't use i mean this okay because it's gonna style both. but since we're talking about padding it really wouldn't matter if it affects the other if it affects the background okay so i'm just gonna use the background so i'm just gonna give it a padding of let's say 80 all around okay so to contain that i think 80 is a bit too much let's try 64 all around all right Okay, so we have that space but this close button is a bit too close so I might just want to go back to there and make it like say eight eight okay or zero because it has it has enough padding so that padding is gonna wage it you know right there okay so um, I think I would like to give more text to this so I'm just gonna add or just copy what we have and paste Okay, so you just have enough uh, text for what you want to do. Okay, so I think we're basically done. I'm going to save this and let's go to the front end and check what we have. Okay, so, uh, okay, the problem is this. We have this first, okay? So that's the problem. Uh, the first one is supposed to be this, okay? The first one is supposed to be uh, the... This one, this, we're supposed to see this first, but we're seeing the other one first. So I'm just gonna quickly just swap it, okay? So let me move this to the top, and then let me move this to the top, okay? 
So that should solve the problem. I'm going to refresh it, and then we have that, and then we have this open. open. But the problem is that we still see this, okay? Even when we go here, this is still there. You see that? It's still there. So we don't want that. So I'm going to select the tab. I'm going to select the app active class. And then when it is active, I want it to be displayed none. So I'm going to go to there and display none. So when we have the active tab, now this is screwed up because I moved something around. So if you just refresh the builder, it's going to be okay. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh the builder. But then let's refresh this and see what is going to happen. So when I click here, that disappears, you can see. And then when I click here, you no longer have that button showing up because it is now active and the active tab is set to display none. So when this is active, you know, it, that tab displays none and its content shows. But when you click this, it, the content of this other one shows and this one, this one becomes uh, display none and this shows. So that is how to set up that. So now that we have set that up, if you want to, um, yeah, my stuff has refreshed. If you want to duplicate this, okay, uh, to have that, of course, it's going to get screwed up because I've duplicated it. Now, you can go ahead and just change that background to something different. I'm going to save that and then refresh on the front end. All right, so we have this close. We have this close. All right, guys, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you have any question, ask in the comment section and I'll try and answer them. I have a lot of videos in the channel on what you can do with the tabs element. So if you want to check it out, just search tabs in my in the channel and you see a lot of them. Some of them are very old videos. And remember to check out the video on Recoder Workspace version 2. And if you can, get a copy before it's too late. All right, see you some other time.